Hello and good morning, and welcome back to Foundation, a game where there never seems to be enough clothes. Let's get right into it. So we're back in the village of Quapleshire, as we are typically, and we are having a clothing shortage. You can see it right there. Definitely a problem. We only have nine clothes. It's, it's fluctuating a lot. You can also see we don't have much cloth, we don't have much wool. Remember correctly last time, I know it has been a little bit, we did queue up with some buildings here that are supposed to help remedy the problem. We are short on tools, and I thought we are supposed to have a blacksmith. Yeah, we have a blacksmith here. And how are these iron smelters doing? It looks like they're short on iron ore. I think we... What happened is we took a lot of the miners away from the iron deposits, so there isn't anyone mining, which means we aren't getting any tools which means we can't, you know, do anything about our iron shortage, or about our tool shortage, which connects to the clothes shortage. It's a, it's a continuous line, which also I believe is leading to a deficit, I think. I'm just guessing. I really have no idea. So I have added a couple of people to these deposits. Hopefully this fixes the problem. I have no idea if it will or not. Oh, the new tailor's workshop just got finished. Although, we need people to staff it. We don't have people to staff it, but we don't have clothes. We don't have cloth to make clothes clothes out of, so kind of a catch 22 here, is that the term? No, oh, I guess so. And we also need another warehouse, I'd say, out in this bit of the world. I don't know where one would go. My guess would be the best place for a warehouse is down here by the mill. Uh, warehouse, 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 warehouse. All right, you, you go here by the water. And this will... It doesn't make, those people won't be happy if I put a warehouse there. So what we'll do is we'll put it on the other side. Uh, right here. Is this a warehouse? No, it's a hop farm. Okay. Okay, is that a hop farm? Why do I have a hop farm there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That should probably be a brewery. Yeah, I don't think that's the right building. Yeah, uh, get rid of you. I'm glad I caught that. Um... I don't know what I was thinking when I put that in place. Because that does not go there. If that goes there, if I had the gold coins for it, which I do not, because we are losing money. Ooh, we're also pretty much out of bread. We're pretty much out of berries. Cheese is on the way down. How are we doing in terms of fish? 29 fish, okay. So, it looks like we have a couple problems in our village right now. A several couple problems. Food. That is the set of problems, so actually, I'm not going to build this yet. I'd call that a very low priority item. How are we doing in terms of wheat? Um, where do I see wheat? Wheat. 182. Alright, let's get this windmill done, because I think that will help solve some of our problems. I hope. I, I really hope, because right now we're not in the best place, is what I've just learned. Across the board, we're low on food, which means that these are not selling much food, which means we aren't making that much money. Yeah, look, zero bread. I mean, the cheese, I'm sure, is selling more now. Which is a good thing. But, uh, let's see how much flour we have. Out of curiosity. That's beer. Uh, flour, we have one. Which really does come down to a shortage of windmills. So, if this windmill will get done quicker, which is already underway, which I love to see can solve that problem rather swiftly. Also, we should get these gathering huts done. Uh, there's one here, and I think that's the other one. Let's get those done. All right, the sheep farm. Uh, we aren't quite needing that yet. I mean, we do need it quite significantly. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, cancel you. Unemployed. Yeah, go. Just leave. Let's spawn a couple sheep. So, the sheep here. Have anyone joined? Rejoined. Good. Uh, yeah, we can actually have the... So I know you got... Um... I've broken it. I can see I've broken it. If I go to the bottom, there should be a sheep farm? No, no, no. It should be somewhere in here. S's? Alright. Huh? Unemployed. I'm just gonna make you a shepherd. You're the same person, right? 
Email 1599, yeah. Okay, so you're the same person. I'll just make you, I'll force you to be a shepherd. There you go. Oh, and the new gathering hut has been completed. We need to get people assigned here. We have three new people in the village, which means we can have three new foragers. Which means we can start fixing the food problem. At a somewhat speed. It's really the storm, because if Murhook's storms really hurt your income. Also, I think our... Yeah, they're back. So, let's send them out a new mission. Uh, do we have anything difficult? Yeah, this one. Uh, send on this one. If I remember correctly, you can get food from these. At least promotion season. Sadly, we can't really afford to promote anyone, so we're not going to do that. But we'll send our military out to do us good. And make us money and food. I'm really hoping for the food. That's the one I really need. Luckily, we do have this new sheep farm out here. We got the neighbors. Yeah, I don't care about the neighbors. And we have a new weaver hut done as well. The sad thing is, all this will have to get transported out to the other side of the world. Also, why am I building a bakery here? That doesn't actually make much sense. I'm gonna cancel this construction. Yeah, go away. Um, alright. Today has been a lot of ums, and I realize this, but I am frankly tired. <laughs> oh, new monk in the village. Are you here? No, not yet. Oh, but three new villagers are joining the village, which is what we need. These sculptures, hope they're getting done. I don't really know. And it's still levitating quite a bit. But we have seen that these two buildings are completed, so we can assign a tailor and two weavers. They'll bring in producing more clothes. I'm going to go ahead and start the construction of this. We are almost out of cheese. This is milk. We're almost out of milk, too. I mean, cheese or milk aren't something we usually sell a lot of. So... Slightly concerning. I'm actually really concerned on the inside, because... I don't want villagers to start leaving because of hunger. And we are seeing more and more villagers go hungry at the moment. Okay, we can't get another shepherd. Okay, we got a new villager, so we can begin producing more cotton. Alright, so hopefully this gets done soon, because that way we can transport out the wool to here. Which means we can sell it easier. So all these can just get done. Um, general... Okay, the cloth is the problem. We'll prioritize these wooden builds. But we leave the... Okay. So... Berries. Food. Well, the only thing is... Selling those two items, it just it doesn't work because we don't have a source of either. You're struggling right now. I mean, look at how few bread we have. Thank god. We can now survive. Because hopefully the production will kick back up. Meaning we can sell more. Not even sell more, it's just we can, you know, sit safely. I'm we've really put ourselves in a sticky situation, I do have to say. Um I wasn't paying attention to food. And food has become much more problematic than I thought it would need to be. Thanks, you know what, we can do that. Where do we want to send it? Uh, estates, hi. I could always use a trade bonus. I only use it in the labor direction because we don't have enough citizens. So we'll send it to labor. And we can complete that one nice and quick. Cool. I mean, it's not enough, but it will get us closer. So I'm hoping we start to see an increase in all these items. But it's definitely going to be a little bit before we do. Also, yeah, we can see some more of these have opened. So this is another food stall. We can sell fish. We don't have a villager there. Also, yeah, these have people that work here. Good. We might need to get more fisher's huts, because we did run out of fish during that. Yeah, look how low our happiness has gotten. Because people are just starving. Because you can't produce enough food. I keep my villagers. I keep my soldiers. Alright. Let's hope... Alright, we really do need to get this new windmill done. This is probably the highest priority item we have anywhere in, in Quabbleshire at the moment. Because... Yeah. 
81 villagers have lacked food many times. 41 have lacked clothes. Clothes looks like it's slowly getting fixed. Uh, we've been producing a lot more stuff. So this should help a little bit. All right. Uh, we're close. We're close. I'm producing more berries, which can be sold wherever we need them. Now this market's going to sell cheese and then clothes. Sign the one villager to the clothes stall, because that one's important. Are they actually building up the fence? We really don't need that right now. We need clothes. What are these noises? Oh, it's this. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's still levitating. Oh, no, it's not levitating. Well, this is levitating. Well, that was cool. It's very fitting in front of the church, which is still not done. Because of a lackage of tools. So this is actually pretty much done. We could probably finish it today. And actually, I was going to build a monastery today. But we have more pressing matters than religion at the moment. Although I'm surprised. No one's left the village yet. I know now that I said that, they will start leaving the village. Come on, you're so close. You can finish it. You just need one more tool, and I can see you have it. Please deliver it. Like yesterday. Where are you? Coming from all the way at the top of the village. Well, this one tool that you're carrying is probably the most valuable thing in the village right now. We're in desperate need of it. Oh, here. We are down to 80 wheat. Okay. Let's get these other farmhouses built. They require a lot of tools, too, though. But they are very important. Oh, and this uh, windmill, too. Why not? I didn't even notice that existed. Alright, so this should get finished up here. Yep, there goes the last tool. Just needs a builder. And there we go. We can now produce more flour. So that's good. Although we are still sitting in the same place. We're actually perfectly breaking even at the moment. Like a perfect break even, apparently. What we need to do, we need to import tools, I think. Because we aren't really producing that many tools considering the amount we need. We need 30 right here. This needs a ton. So what we're going to do is we're going to trade resources. We're going to buy tools. Which I know I'm going to regret. Where's tools? We're going to basically buy until inventory reaches 50. Hopefully this lets us finish up what we're doing. I mean, we aren't going to be able to afford many initially. But it should get us going for now. Because we are in a really bad standstill at the moment. Because we lack considerable resources. Can we assign people to this gathering hut? We can. Alright. And I think we need to get a couple fisher set going, too. So we'll get another one over here. Invalid position. Alright. I can't afford that. It's only 20 wood, too. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here spamming the button until we can afford it. Got it. Alright. This is important. We sell any and all items, any and all food items that we can. We're still kinda lacking on the clothes department, but we're doing better. We are doing somewhat better. I think. I, I'm not inter- Yeah, our happiness is on the way back up. You see, we're slowly fixing the food problem and the clothes problem at the same time. Housing is slowly fixed itself, just generally over time. Which is, you know, good. Another miner there. Alright, we have bought a lot of the tools that we need to complete things. Mainly these things. These houses, these wheat farms are incredibly important. Also, I want to build an extraction. Oh, there's already one there. Alright. They're going to let us, let our villagers eat. Because that's something we seem to be struggling with quite a bit. Also, I kind of want to buy this tile here just so I can get this food deposit. Oh, four new villagers. That's exactly what we need. Like, quite literally what we need right now. Oh, this is good to see. It really is. And we should really begin setting these as the correct food stalls. Well, they are already set. It's just, you know. Oh, we can sell jewelry here. Alright. Not quite ready for that yet. I didn't actually even assign someone to sell the fish either. Oh, the, the soldiers were victorious. Does that mean they're going to bring back loot? Oh, they're on the way back. Yes, that's loot. That's money, that's happiness for our village. Potentially, food. <laughs> this is the great food problem that we're in right now. It's a pretty much a continuous cycle until we get it solved. Because right now we're short on food, which is making our villagers unhappy, which I think makes them less efficient, which means we can't produce as many tools. Buying all the tools because no one's using any tools, which is our money. 
Look at that, we spent $66 on income boards last time. We didn't really make that much in terms of income either. Alright, so now we're selling jewelry. I'm not going to sell cheese at this market yet. Oh, look at that, they, brought, they got bread. They got bread. Thank god they got bread. And tools. And promotion season. Good promote. How many? Let's get that tenth of dozen. Alright. I just only slightly regret that. Alright, no soldiers. I'm not going to promote. I'm going to promote these two soldiers. That is it. We're going to leave that as is because we are in such a sticky situation right now. We can't really handle the needs of the mini right now. Um, but we will do, because we need a stronger source of food. I'm going to unlock another tile that has berries on it. I'm trying to see if there's one that's like extra good. Because we need a lot of berries. Like this one here, this one would be amazing. But I don't... Like we could unlock towards it. But that would cost us in total about a thousand coins. So I think we're going to go something a bit closer to home. Because I think it's a good place to start anyways. Uh, this one's good, but we need to build a bridge to get there. Can unlock? I think it's as close to another fish deposit. Would also be really great. See those, yeah. Like this one, I want to do, but it doesn't really get you close to another fish deposit. This one's also not bad. Also, I'm sorry if you hear the birds, because I have my window open. So that will happen, I'm sorry. That just occurred to me. These three tiles all have one berry. I think this one's good because I can build more fields off the back of it. We're going to go with this one. And we'll go ahead and build two gathering huts as one does. It's right off the road. Like that. And turn on time. As well as uh, set up an extraction zone for this forest here. Get rid of it because it's a really big forest. And same with that one. Alright, so turn on time. Let's prioritize these two gathering huts. Fully fix our berry crisis. We unlocked a new tier of unlockables. I'm glad. I'm really glad. But right now, we aren't doing the best. Although on the right side, we do have the money to buy a bunch of tools to complete tasks. Not tasks, but to complete buildings and such. Uh, that need them. Like, all three... Four? All four of these buildings. Because, you know, we're, we're, we're struggling right now. We are definitely on the struggle bus. Actually, another bakery here might not be a bad idea, considering the construction the mill that's up there. And we probably need another gainer, granary in the area. I just slowed down my talking for a moment. I was talking over myself. But, what does this one have? It has bread. Alright, we can pour flour there. Oh, okay, one of the wheat farms is finished. Perfect. Paint crop field. Alright, this one isn't in the best place, I'm going to be honest. It is not that great, but we're going to make do with what we got. Throw that bit there. It's got a really big thing. And we'll just go up to there. Ideally, it grows inside this area, but those trees still exist. So it's not best right now. Yeah, we don't have that many lumber camps. What did that say? An envoy is approaching my village. Right side, we've really gotten the problems back to home. Alright, and they're already planting. They're doing a great job. Hopefully this mill gets done soon. Let's see what the stats are. Not stats, but the... Alright, we have... Where's wheat? We have 7 wheat. 30 flour. 2 cheese. 45 fish. We are not in the best position right now. We have finished another fisher's hut, though. Which means we can assign another villager there. Bam, go. Go fishing. Go fish. I don't know what the limit is on the fishing deposits. We'll paint another crop field right here. Also, don't know. I still really. I've been playing this game for so long, and I really don't know what the optimal size is for a crop field. To be honest, the game just kind of glitched a little bit. All right, sign three villagers, and go plant some crops. Ooh, new gathering hut. It's one of these two. Both up. Can't. I don't have any villagers we can assign there yet. Those ones are incredibly important, and we need them yesterday. Envoy is requesting an audience. What would you like, Mr. Envoy? I can't do any sort of food. I am entirely 
Sorry, but food is not something I can spare at the moment. Uh, I mean, actually, maybe fish we could have spared. No, we can't. That would have been all of our fish. Also, why are you building these? Those are still an issue. Get this, actually, because I'm curious. We have three cloth, one cloth. 25 clothes. It does still seem like a wool shortage of sorts. We might need more sheep farms. I mean, we have two out here, but they aren't. The problem with sheep farms is they don't really produce much. So this needs to get done. Actually, I'm not sure if it does, per se, but it does need to. Well, I'm proud to see that we're kind of maintaining our money now, despite buying a ton of tools constantly. Oh, I think our army is back, so we can send them out again, and they are ready to go. So we'll send them out on another... I uh, will send them on an extremely difficult mission. For challenge. And we'll assign our villagers. The one thing about... I wish there was like an assign all button. Actually, on top of that, there'd be two cool ways to do it. Like, you could separate your army out into regimes, or like into units. So you can like have pre-designed units that you just assign, instead of assigning individual soldiers. I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. And that's just my perspective on a way you could do it. Alright, so they're on their way. The windmill just got finished over here. But we don't really need to commission that yet because, remember here, we are doing pretty good on turning it into flower pretty swiftly now. Yeah, we have even, even Steven. So we're doing okay. And things seem to be going well in most places. I kind of want to build, and I know I really don't need to, Actually, I'm also going to get rid of this extraction zone here, because it's not really necessary. Get rid of all this, because there's more important trees to cut down than these. That's so just wait, I'll hold well, this is an extraction zone. Oh my god, what, what was I thinking? I think I was thinking I need to get rid of these trees. Um, let's clear away all those. It's more so like these trees that I need to go. Because this is where I need to build farms, this is where I need to build farms. I really like how there's a clear like farmland area. Our place. Also, I know I have a hunter's hut here for hunting here, but I wonder if I should move hunting to here. Because this is constantly a forest, even though it's being cut down and regrown, it is constantly a forest. That is an idea. Oh, this can... Oh, I don't mean to assign someone. Alright, well that will have to do for now. It's not the best farm, but it will have to do. I want to assign villagers to the gathering huts here. The berries are our most... Oh, we just completed the well that's out here. Oh, we completed a different well. What well did we complete? How many wells did I have under construction? Oh, by the church. I like how the church has been under construction for probably the longest amount of time out of anything we've done in this playthrough. And it is massive. I mean, look at that thing. It, it definitely frames beautifully. But, you know, it's taking a while. I mean, I could prioritize the construction of it, it's just missing some tools here and there. And I think a couple stones. But none of that is a big deal. Yeah, it's just mainly tools. Which is actually kind of funny, because, you know... That's the one thing we're short on. Who would have thought? Well, I think we're actually working towards a better place in terms of tools. Um... Oh, we completed the market? Is this completely done? It is, look at that. Hopefully our clothes shortage ends now. It was designed to use the cloth for this instead of, you know, clothes. But it does look kind of nice there. I do like where we decided to place that market, although I've noticed it isn't even on both sides. But I guess that makes sense with the coastline. Although I think it would make sense as well to put in, like, some sort of wall. I think a small stone wall along the coast here. Like, so that way it isn't anything major, but it definitely provides hides like a clear place where the coast ends and I think to there looks good and we'll put a bit along this way as well and when I think we're gonna go back in and then just kind of spice this up a little bit like that all right so then we go in here get this piece curve it like that I found walls in this game actually are kind of intuitive like, I didn't think so at first, but the more I've worked with them, it's easier they've gotten, which I guess, you know, makes sense. 
Alright, I say that and I'm really struggling here. Darn combined. Alright, that goes to there. That goes to there. And that looks fine. Make sure these curve. Alright. Uh, we'll have that one curve a bit. This needs to come down to here. Be sure to curve the wall. The curving walls look best. To be honest. We're getting a ton of more people in our village. Okay, this needs to get a bit there. Be sure to curve, curve. I would like if it curved a little nicer. Not the nicest curve I've seen. Alright, there we go. That looks good. That's just a little wall along there. Just provides a hint of separation between the land and the water. There's a little bit of water there. I do want to fix that real quick. Just like that. There we go. Alright, we have gotten more people in our village, so we can go ahead and assign them to the gathering huts over here. Uh, there we go. It's not a ton more people yet, but I think there was another wave coming in at any moment. Yeah, I think any moment there'll be another wave of people coming in. It looks like we've relatively fixed the berries. Still need to fix the bread. I think fishes are on the way. Fishes are just being fish. I think when we have... So, the way things work in this game, and we've described this before, it's linked on one of my previous videos, a, co a comment with a really great guide on needs. Um, basically, villagers need at most two different items, two different types of food. So as long as they can get the two different types of food, they're fine. So, oh, we finished these two granaries. These will contain berries, wheat, flour, hops. Um, I got completely distracted. Bread, fish. Here we can actually see what we have on the two different ones: fish, and I think cheese. Yeah, cheese. That seems good. So that will work for now. Did I actually build the new brewery? I don't think I did. So let's get a new brewery. Because I can't believe I built a hop. I tried to build a hop farm instead. And I wasn't really thinking with that one. I don't. I still don't know what I was. The brewery. Okay. No, uh, not Cooperage. Although Cooperage is. I think we already have one of those to sell. Brewery. Here we go. Oh, people don't like building your brewery. Right here next to the warehouse. Still just slightly out of the way of everything else. There's a bakery that's coming up here. Very slowly. I knew people have joined our village. I think people have arrived. Let's just see. Oh, I've already assigned them, I think. <laughs> we need to get people out in the fields. Alright, that's all the people we can do. But it does mean more bread. Uh, the more wheat farms we have, the more bread we get. And it makes sense. I really like how no wheat farms uniform, so they're kind of just all they're doing their own thing. And I really love the walls I did. I kind of want to continue this up, but these wheat farms have gotten really weird. So I have to really think about it quite a bit. Also, that's a reforestation zone, but nothing's growing there. Do is I'm gonna clear away that bit there. We'll add a bit of field right here. Cool. And I want to get rid of that bit of field on that side of the path. There we go. Just so it looks cleaner a little bit. That's important to me when I'm building these things. I don't know. I just want them to look like they make sense where they are. Like, I don't mind a bit of field over here, but I want it to be, you know, look like a proper bit of field, not just those little spokes of grass on the other side, you know? Alright, so that should be better. And we can probably assign... Oh, we can't assign a miller. Look at that. We've got... We've fixed most of it. This is... This is great. Oh, this is great. So we fixed most of the problems. We just have two more people that are lacking clothes. Which I believe will still be fixed over time. Um, I did want to check... Something. I don't remember what it was. Knight statue masterpiece. Build conditions surrounded by forest. We could put it like right in the middle of this. Because this is always cut down and rebuilt. I'm just curious what it looks like. So Wow, there's a lot of options here. So you have the square pinth. 
alcove pedestal. Okay, you have different. I don't know what that is, but it looks funny. All right, and then on top you build the knight statue like that. That's kind of cool. And you, inside of these you can put little mini statues. I mean, this is very construction expensive. We're not going to do this yet. I do want to do it in the future. So I don't know where that bit went. So we'll just delete this. Oh, look at all that stuff. Look at all. We got a blueprint. Interesting. Oh, we can do band-aid. I completely forgot about these. Let's try to keep it inside of our village. Yeah. Uh, I think there's... We'll do that one then. All right. Cool. And we have a monk requesting an audience. Let's see what's up. What would you like, Mr. Monk? Do you like planks? Do you like wood? You know, I can. I think I can do wood. We'll send it there. I think wood's one of those few things that we can really supply a decent amount of and be okay with for now. So we'll get the trade bonus that I've been waiting for, which means more money. Oh, uh, money good. We have good money. We have a lot of money. I just noticed that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, right now we're buying our tools, so we're doing okay. Also, this church is nearing completion now that we have an overflow of tools. We were just waiting on tools. Well, let's prioritize that construction. I, want, I wanted to get that done today. And I know I'm running over 30 minutes. I just noticed that. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's worth it for today because we have a lot of things that just kind of need to be fixed up, you know? We're sitting in a pretty good place at the moment. We weren't at the beginning of the video. I entirely admit I kind of neglected some things. But they are no longer neglected. And they are doing it swimmingly. Uh, let's try to get more miners. Alright, go ahead. Get to work. Alright, I don't know how many unemployed villagers we have. But I'm just constantly trying to employ them at the new places that we built. So, can we keep working there? Alright. I think we have these new places here. Okay, we don't... We've assigned as many people. Oh, I think the statue is complete. It's nearing completion. Right. It really does look great in front of the church. Especially because this wall is so blank. It adds a bit of texture to it. Because I don't have any sort of decoration I can put on there. I could put up maybe a small tower at most, but okay, it just automatically got rid of that. In reality, this doesn't look great. Just kind of looks like it's thrown in. So, yeah. And I can't really put a stained glass window. It won't let me put it there, which makes me really sad. Oh, the church is complete. Oh, no, it's not. Got it completed. I got really excited. I want this to, like... No, I can't get it to get there. I, I, want, I want to get it on the side, but I can't do that. It's okay. Oh, crosses might look good there. I do each cost one tool. I like that idea, but <laughs> the cross does not look good there. I take my word back. Take what I said back. Alright. One tool, and the church is completed. I'm just completing this bell tower here. This thing does look really magnificent. It really towers over the village. Oh, there's a lighting fragment. Ooh, will the bakery get finished? I can't get any transporters in the granaries yet. It's okay, it's okay. We have another new villager? Oh, we do have another villager. Alright, let's get one transporter in there. Alright, so they're now transporting some things here and there. Good. Because there will be a bakery here. Eventually. Okay. Just needs someone to complete this instruction. Just a little bit, put that little window in, and we're done. Oh, this is going off. This sadly isn't done yet, but it looks cool. Wow, does be. It only needs two more sculptures, too. Three more sculptures. Uh, but that's pretty close to done. I'm actually really happy with how today has gone. We were able to solve our happiness because, you know, we had a massive food shortage. We were able to solve the clothes shortage, kind of. I mean, we're still a little bit lacking, but it's okay. I think we're kind of getting there. The church has been completed. Look at that, the mega church. I'm getting... I don't know if you can hear the bells, but I was pressing the bells. 
And this masterpiece is also almost done. Today's been pretty great. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll be seeing y'all next time. Bye for now.